Bowers, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Welcome to another weekend product review. Today I'm reviewing a 53cc Badger backpack blower. I've done the smaller ones before and I've also done some of their weed whackers and they seem to be pretty good. Let's open this up and unpack it. with some um, hose clamps and a uh, spark plug removal tool and a allen key. Here's the swivel for this area. Three tubes that you can connect. Four tubes. I'm gonna try to put this together without looking at the instructions. So there you go, maybe 10 minutes? Really easy to put together. Those tubes, they won't go on unless you put them on right, you know, and it's self-explanatory. You don't read, you don't even really need to read the instructions, but if it's your first time, read the instructions. Uh, I've put together a lot of these things before, so everything is very self-explanatory to me. You got the uh, trigger uh, assembly that was placed on to that tube over there. Uh, very long tube, as you can see, super long. Uh, the backpack has these nice padded um, cushions here with the straps that go around your shoulders, very nice. And also um, a waist strap too, to keep it more secure onto your body. I don't know if you need to keep it that secure onto your body. Besides, after all, it is a <laughs> gasoline powered engine on your back, you know what I mean? You want to be able to get out of there fast, you know what I mean? So uh, it's nice to have this so it's nice and comfortable. So the model number is the Wild Badger 52.8 cc. I just rounded up to 53 cc's, right? And the model number is WB52CCBPB. Now that may seem like a really long number for you to remember, but honestly, what does it stand for? It's Wild Badger 52 cubic centimeters backpack blower pretty easy to remember if you think about it <laughs> anyway so uh, I think this is broken from shipping this part here is broken here's a better look at the brake it's just this plastic valance thing that's broken I'd probably remove it because this will probably cut me or something like that if I'm trying to grab it or I'll zip tie it or something Anyway, so here is the knob to remove this cover where you can change the air cleaner. Here's the primer bulb, right? You push this seven times, it says. Over here, you have the start, which is basically choke, right? And then once you get the engine started to turn over once or twice, you put it to run after it warms up. Here's the gas where you put the gas fuel mix, it's usually 50 to one ratio between two stroke oil and regular unleaded gasoline. You have to mix it properly or it won't run right. So 50 to one ratio in here. Uh, very small reservoir. To pour that in there, you're gonna make a mess. So make sure you use a funnel if you have to pour it in there or something that has a dispensing tube that goes in there like a gas can. Uh, this is a vented cap, as you can see the two holes there, that will prevent vapor lock. Here is your uh, instructions on how to use it. So the instructions should not be on here because you're going to cut this and throw it away. Instructions should be a sticker over here that tells you how to use it. But I guess once you know how to turn it on, you'll always remember. Here's the exhaust. It's very hot over here. And a very long tube. You see this is flexible. Goes left and right all the way it could even go the other direction point backwards if you want to but you'd have to be some kind of contortionist to do that right um up down left and right whatever and here you have the trigger and over here you have the stop to stop it you do that to start it you put it about half throttle so that this thing pushes down the throttle moves by itself when you do that see 
that just holds it there. If you have it on stop when you're trying to start, it won't start. So you have to put it to a little bit of throttle. Let's put some gas in here, huh? So I'm gonna put some pre-mix in here. You can buy this at your store, 50 to one fuel mix, instead of mixing your own. So this handle is in the way to easily fill this. I'm try to put some in here without making a mess. Yeah, I'm already dripping. That's that's more than enough that I want to try right now. We're just going to use it to test. All right, so let's uh, give this a try, huh? We're going to put this on start. We're going to prime this about seven times, see if it sucks. And it does. The fuel is now flowing through the bowl. Uh, I'm sorry, the primer bulb. And I've pressed it more than seven times. So we're just going to pull this. We're just going to pull it now. Ooh, so it kind of started. So we'll put it on run now. I'll put it back on start. make sure that this is not on stop oh it is on stop that's why <laughs> all right now now let's try it So there you go. You can't get every leaf, right? But you can do your best. And that cleaned up the yard really nicely. Worked fine. So that's the 53cc Wild Badger Backpack Blower. Worked great. After it warmed up for about one or two minutes, throttle was really high. You didn't need to adjust anything with the air fuel mixture. Ran great right out of the box. Cleaned up my uh, street and my yard really quickly. Uh, when I was blowing the leaves into a pile, it was just on idle. I was just holding it. Because if you blow too hard, you're not gonna be able to make the pile. <laughs> so you just idle it, you know? And idle is right there, right next to the stop thing. So it worked great. 
fantastic. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want one. It's much cheaper than those high priced other brands. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, thanks a lot for joining me on this Wild Badger Backpack Blower review. We'll see you guys all next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, I'm Andy from Jericho. See, see you guys, guys next, next time on Mowers and Blowers. Blowers.